in return for the care and attention we give them, pets give us the most sincere love there is. In this video, we collected the most heartwarming reunions between pets and their owners after being separated for a long time. Stick around to the very end, you won't regret it. Allow us to begin with the incredibly sentimental footage of this man being greeted by his big happy family. This young man has been away for a long time, serving his country in the military, and just you look at how he was greeted at home. His rowdy little posse just trampled him on the spot. Nothing can come between a dog and its joy. Not everyone truly understands the bond between a dog and its owner. A pet is a member of the family, not something to make a profit off of. This retriever, Atlas, was stolen from his owner for resale. The man turned to the police for help and put up ads about his disappearance at the same time. His efforts weren't in vain. Look at this reunion. Atlas rocketed straight out of the car into the arms of his beloved owner. An 11-year-old cat named Clyde was reported missing. For 12 long days, 10-year-old Jared had been longing for his beloved furry friend, as having grown up with the cat makes it really difficult to bear another day without him. That day, Jared came home from school with no hope of finding his beloved pet, but what joy awaited him. A neighbor had found Clyde and returned him to his grieving family, safe and sound. Oh, buddy. She found him. And I Pets aren't the only ones who can wholeheartedly love their owners and their families. Even dangerous predators like cheetahs can feel real affection for their caretakers. Dahl Volkar, 50, volunteers with the Cheetah Guards in Bloemfontein, South Africa, and describes himself as an animal advocate with a zoology degree. Whatever the case, even after a year of being apart, his pets meet him with more emotion than your average house cat. Cheetahs are far from itty-bitty cute cats, though, growling, not purring on their owner's lap. A 28 to 35-inch adult weighs up to 160 pounds. Kudos to Dolph and the work of their nonprofit organization. After all, there are only about 7,000 of these graceful animals left in the world. This unlucky traveler hasn't been home in over seven months. The boy wasn't even expecting to see and hug his cat. How much joy this reunion brought him. He even cried from happiness. <laughs> how can you possibly restrain the king of the jungle? It's amazing how he didn't knock his caretaker down. Seeing such a touching reunion between a wild and dangerous predator and a human who haven't seen each other for a long time is heartwarming especially when it shows complete trust and turns over onto its back. This lion can't help but be joyful and scurry about like a loving dog. This incredible encounter also took place at a sanctuary near Bloemfontein, South Africa. The cheetah Gabriel hadn't seen its caretaker for a year. The man carried for the feline when it was just 10 months old. They hit it off immediately, becoming close friends. Now this cheetah is a young and strong animal. Initially, the caretaker doubted whether Gabriel would remember him, but he was greeted with a satisfied purr and asked to be petted. The cheetah was as affectionate as he was when he was a kitten. Capuchin monkeys, despite their restless nature, also get attached to people and show their love, kind of like children. These monkeys, Xander and Ohana, miss their grandmother very much. Look at how much these babies love her and how much joy, shouting, hugging, and caressing there is. Just heartwarming. Xander, we don't Praise monkeys all you want, what with them being much like humans, but birds can show their love the same way. This parrot, Reba, hasn't been home for 10 days. He got lost in Boston, Massachusetts. The reunion between Reba and his owner, Jordan Herring, is simply amazing. How can so much affection fit into one little bird? A resident of New Orleans had to leave her home for eight long months. Carrie was looking forward to meeting her pit bull terrier named Dorothy, but she wondered if the dog would remember her. Upon seeing her, Dorothy nearly knocked over the whole couch with joy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Annie and all doubts in their love, gone. This woman used to care for this young foal. When they finally reunited after a long period of time apart, the foal had already become a magnificent stallion named Fritzy. Granted, horses don't show their emotions too much. They don't wag their tails, sweep away everything in their path, or jump on your back. But judging by Fritzy's reaction, this animal is clearly happy to see its former caretaker. No need to apologize, I'm crying too. This reunion can move anyone to tears. A monkey crying at the sight of its former caretaker. Just watch how it recognizes her from afar. What love they must share, this wild animal and caretaker, to have such a reaction to seeing each other. Even wolves released into the wild remember those who raised and reared them, which is incredible. One might think that their native environment would have long since changed their character, made them tough and more aggressive, but not this pack. The Dutcher family raised them from a young age, and lo and behold, a year later they decided to visit their pets. These practically wild dogs are letting themselves be pet almost like domestic dogs. But they're not domestic, not one bit. Paulettes wouldn't have collectively howled like that in light of such a joyful reunion. This is just incredible footage of the encounter between Kirsty the elephant and a former zookeeper 35 years later. Peter Adams looked after the elephant back in the 1980s at Calder Park Zoo. Unfortunately, it got closed down in August 2003 due to non-payment of a $3 million debt. The park was no longer able to keep its animals. Kirsty had to travel the world until she was left to live out her days at Neunkirchen Zoo in Germany, and Peter lost all contact with her. Of course, Peter's appearance has changed a lot, and he didn't even think the elephant would recognize him, but 52-year-old Kurtzy stunned everyone. She couldn't mistake that voice for anyone else's. It turns out that chimpanzees can abandon their young if they are sick. This cute little fella named Limbani got pneumonia as a baby. George and Tanya had to take care of him, and they became his only parents. But time went on, and the now-grown chimpanzee was relocated to the Zoological Wildlife Foundation in Florida, USA. Limbani is lucky that his foster family has not forgotten about him. Tanya and George often visit him. And these reunions are so touching that it's impossible to look at their displays of affection without being moved. The relationship between animals and children is always a storm of emotions. And when a pet goes missing, it's always a tragedy for children. What a blessing it is to have pets found. This little boy from Texas was really worried when his dog Cassie went missing just two weeks before Christmas. It wasn't until a month later that his mom accidentally found the missing dog. The dog was taken in by other people who kindly returned it at her request. These caring people found Cassie in a heavy snowstorm and took him in. Otherwise, the dog might not have survived. This reunion between the six-year-old boy and his pet simply can't be explained using words. Just watch. Keith! <laughs> a cockatoo is hard to find a home for. Not everyone can get along with its quirks. For this very reason, Tofu had many owners, but he was always given away. This time he ended up in an organization where birds don't get passed from home to home, but because of COVID, the cockatoo still had to be given away to shelters. Fortunately, the former caretaker is now able to visit Tofu. Their happy dancing together conveys their love for each other in the best way possible. This girl, Sonia, grew up at the Orphaned Wildlife Center in the United States. Since she was a little girl, she was cared for by Jonathan, who at one point had to switch jobs. 
A long 15 years had passed, and Sonia was finally able to reunite with her former caretaker. Amazingly, not only did Sonia remember Jonathan, but she also remembered the games they used to play. Alan Witten had the three longest days of his life when his friend Mitzi went missing. How a Jack Russell Terrier ended up in this position isn't clear, but what is clear is the happiness they both shared upon being reunited. Shy loves his bunny, Binny, and Binny loves him back. This time Shy came back from a long trip away. Look who met him first. Binny acts like a dog and a cat at the same time, following Shy wherever he goes, allowing himself to be pet and even washing his hair. Do you have a pet? Let us know in the comments how your pets greet you after being separated for a long time. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and leave the video a like.